What is going on everybody? It is Rashad Williams with 212 Exotics and as you see we are here at the Bob's Bob's facility. We are here with Bob Vu himself. Um, Bob, thank you so much for having us over. Um, brought you guys here, one for me to pick up a cool snake and we're going to check out some of Bob's snakes. Bob? Let's go check out the facility. Let's go. So Bob, first up, what we got? All right, guys. So this here is a female I hatched this past year. This is a leopard desert ghost fire, 100% het for clown. A little hold back animal from me. Look at that, beautiful. I love the way leopard interacts with desert ghosts. And I think this into a clown is gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, guys, here we have a pair of black pastel orange dream calico clowns you can see how the orange stream and the calico interacts and drags up all that white onto this animal the calico clown project's been around for a little bit just not a lot of people pursued it because a lot of low white animals were produced to start with in order to produce higher white um, you need to get that orange stream in there uh, and it really amps up the animal you see how much white flames that just comes up the side of this animal beautiful really did come out good all right guys so here's an animal that's going to be a building block for next year this is an orange stream ng yellow belly pied 100% het for desert ghost so you can see how orange this animal is already i think adding it into an actual visual desert ghost you're going to eliminate a lot of these uh the browning that's going to happen on here as he ages and um, you're going to save a lot of that color the orange that he was born with but this animal is already amazing. I think a visual desert ghost is just going to amp it up 10 times. Oh, yeah. That's going to be awesome. So and he's getting pretty close. He's about 300 grams. We've got another three months with him before we start pairing him. All right, guys. Here we have a cinnamon spot nose fire yellow belly clown. Uh, we hatched this girl out in February. Um, she has grown very fast. And I'm really liking uh, spot nose and cinnamon clowns. It gives them a lot of contrast and a lot of this chocolatey brown color on top that we have right here. Um, that yellow belly just amps up all the flames that we have going on over here. So this, I think, is going to be a huge building block for us, adding red stripe into it, uh, doing leopards, uh, stuff like that. So, really nice, cool animal. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys, here we have a desert ghost clown female. This is exactly a, a year old. She turned a year old. Um, this month and as you can see even with age the DG clown keeps that bright gold on them uh, They don't brown out like a regular clown would and they keep that faded head on them So this is where the key to keeping a lot of that clown pattern as babies You're hatching a lot of clowns that age uh, that are hatched very nice and then they start to lose their color So the desert ghost clown project will help you retain all of that color and pattern without fading all right, guys, here we're showing off the Voodoo Project. This is a project I found um, about three years ago, okay? So this is a single gene Voodoo. Uh, all of the Voodoos are hatched with a connected uh, tail pattern, always. They have these uh, floating alien heads that are very busy, and the, uh, the tail pattern. Always a weird head stamp when they're born. So now you can see the difference in the Leopard Voodoo. This is a, just a Leopard and Voodoo mix. Uh, you still have that connected tail pattern, a very um, kind of a strange head, head stamp here. It looks almost like a, a crown on its head. Really, really busy leopard pattern. Um, so this, these are both het for clown. Uh, so this year we're expecting to hatch a voodoo clown, hopefully, and uh, to see how extreme that combo is. I'm expecting it to be very similar to how, how extreme the stranger clowns was. Is, uh, considering they're both kind of a granity, uh, darker project. So hopefully this uh, plays out nicely into the clown project. We also have uh, Desert Ghosts and Hypos in, uh, in the works for this project. Good deal. 
So one question though, Bob. Yep. What outside of you know the floating alien heads and you know I, I see with leopard it really breaks that pattern up, really jumps that pattern up. How is this particularly different from say like your granite gene or um, you know your other uh, genes that look very similar to granite? Right. So the single gene is very similar. We've compared the single gene itself to let's say nanny or something like that. However, into the combos, the Mojaves, the Lessers, the Leopards, the, it's totally different. Like I have uh, Lesser and Mojave uh, Voodoos and I also own um, Nannies. And to put the comparison in the combos is different. It's as if um, Cinnamon and Black Pastel, if you will. Uh, they're very similar animals uh, in the base form, but in the combos is where you're getting the difference. So because this is such a, I don't want to say generic look, because a lot of granites come out looking similar, right. but into the combos is where you're going to see, find your differences. Gotcha. Good deal. Thank you. All right, guys, as we're wrapping up this tour of this awesome facility here at Boss Boss, um, of course, I could not come without picking up something. So um, here's my pickup. You want to? Bob, you want to tell them what it is? Yeah, so this here is a Cypress 100% head for pied. If you've seen any of the Cypress pied combo, uh, they come out really nice. Always have that funky chocolate color head with a dorsal behind the neck. This guy is actually, uh, unfortunately, in shed at the moment when you guys came to pick up. But you can see he's very, very high quality Cypress. All right, guys. We're wrapping up. Bob, thank you so much. Um, can you let the people know how to get in touch with you or how to find you? Yeah, you can reach me on Instagram, uh, slash Boss Balls, or on Morph Market. You can find me at Boss Balls or look up Bob Boo. Uh, I'm also on YouTube, TikTok, uh, and any of those servers. Good deal. And Bob's TikTok is crazy. I don't know who, if people <laughs> really pay attention to his Bob. Bob already has like over a million views, and he's doing really good on TikTok, so definitely follow his TikTok. Uh, guys, thank you so much. We're going to wrap it up here. Again, it's Rashad from 212 Exotics. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video to somebody, and remember to subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you next time. Peace.